this what if is gonna be what if Asta was part of the Seven Deadly Sins and yeah or not to no ties and which one you want to call it and right now it's nighttime. I said I wasn't gonna do videos but I had time on my hands and stuff. So I'm outside, it is eight forty seven, the time changed so it's really dark and stuff. But yeah, it's gonna start off with um, I'm pretty sure I left off with them finding Bon and doing the handshake and the fighting festival. And I did the attack. So the attack happens. I'm just going to go over this real quick. But, yeah, the same thing happens. But whenever all of them get in the corner against um, Maliotis and Beast Mode, I'm going to say Asta just comes over there, kicks... um. Maliotis and the stuffing, knocking him out, and he tells Diane to do the great thing, but what he does is that whenever it hit, he explodes the ground with anti-matter, or anti-magic, and they run off, and yeah, same thing happens, and now I'm pretty sure they're going to, wait, what was it, and yeah, they're at the bar tavern, this is whenever... Hawk and Elizabeth goes out, and they're talking about that we must have disguises because they're fugitives and stuff. And this is whenever a kid named, or a man named Alan, comes up behind them and says, Hi there, what are we doing? In bushes? And stuff like that. And he says, um, they're talking to themselves, saying we don't want him to tell him, and he says that we're Elizabeth. But I'm Princess Elizabeth. That's when he comes up and says, Hello, your name's Elizabeth, right? And then they start freaking out like we messed up. And stuff like that. And this is when we see Hawk start talking. He's like, Oh, a pig talking. Oh, that's so surprising. And he walks. They do their whole conversation. They walk off. This is when we go back to... Bon, Asa, King, and Maliotis saying that we must get some food. So that's whenever they get a race. And I'm going to say, um, Asta goes for magical boars that um, has fire magic. And that's whenever, um, but yeah, and... That was weird really interesting. Bond gets a whole bunch of bunnies and Maliotis grabs a saber tooth. That's whenever King says go back and they see King almost sleep and that's where they say, King, you didn't grab anything and he says, I I see you guys already have enough and stuff. And that's when I'm like, No, go grab something and that's when Reese starts saying that I'm a fairy I don't eat meat, so I don't like killing for food, even if I don't eat, eat, even though I don't eat it. Which I think he still doesn't eat meat, I'm not sure. Maybe he does, maybe he just quit it because everybody else eat meat. But yeah, that's when they hear a strange roar. They're running, and this is where they've seen this Gother, this person they think is Gother. And they walk up to it while there's people attacking it. And pretty much, the people are attacking it. This dude has a saw blade, another one has a long katana, and another one, what was it, had like a regular sword, I guess. I don't remember completely. Or like that big hammer dude. And so they're running around. And. I'm a, so Malleus instantly goes in an attack and stuff, and that's whenever they get knocked back, and that's whenever King says, um, you shouldn't attack opponents without knowing what their magic is. Then he sends um, Guardian back, and that's when we learn that Guardian has weakness to ice magic, and the rest of the magic it kind of nullifies and stuff like that. It gets destroyed, and he's like, no, Trastiful. That's when Rasa says, stay back. He runs in, using dark energy as a shield. And then this is where he uses, um, 
through here. My friend's trying to make me play Overwatch, but his PlayStation's messed up and they want to take the desk in. And he's telling me to force it in, but I don't want to force it in and make it stuck. And I told him he could do that with his own games. And I left. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I left off at the battle. That's whenever the Seven Deadly Sins in the Dawn of Death, I guess, I'm not sure. About to get in the battle. This is whenever a green haired boy walks out to the scene and tells them, Why are you fighting? And this is whenever Malios and them says, Get out of here, you're in danger. And that's whenever he's like, Oh, you're here for this dude's head. That's whenever they see him raise his head hand and the dude's head falls off. And they're like, Go through no And he walks over to the Golden Dawn. Or not the Golden Dawn, but you know the <laughs> the Order of Death, I don't know. Gives it to them. Wait, I think he revealed himself as um simply deadly sin. Goat sin, go of, um, sin of lust, and all that. And they're like, no way! And, yeah. Sorry, they're just yelling. Because he's mad about something? I don't know. But, yeah. So he's the... And, yeah. And... Oh my god, whatever. But, yeah, he goes in... And that's whenever the, like, the Gother says that it's not done. That's when the armor breaks off and the demon or the demonoid form shows up. And they start fighting. But this time, awesome. Because it is like a magical being fused with it. He just cuts him with the big sword and cuts into him, canceling out his magic and and let's um and he sees this little bud thing and he rips it out after he gopher did that little hallucination thing that's where we're there you get along and they make you a whole um drinking festival and stuff and yeah they're drinking this river um the whole thing with go through gun through people's memories. Whenever he goes into Asta's memory, that's whenever he starts saying, "Asta, were you t was um blank the vampire girl going to have a baby that makes everybody spit out water and look at him and say you guys were whenever the whole attack happened." He says, and he says, "Yeah." But he says to go for why do you have to tell everybody that? And Gother said to make it even for everybody. And yeah. And I think that's where no, they already went through over the magical treasure thing. Give me a second. And now now it's the next day, it's the morning. And this is one of the idea of the whenever they're talking about how Captain's um Dragon Hill sword got taken away and they ask why is it so important Master Winfrey says that it was the original it was part of the original seal of the demon clan and that's people like oh those um people Bond says thinking of the attack and that's whenever this mage appears and says well well, well you know but this while they're saying um then why is there no signs of a holy war attacking? And that's when he says, there's probably one last thing to the seal that they needed. And that's when the mage says, so, whoa, 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 you figured it out. The last key part is Elizabeth's blood disappearing. Maliotis freaking out, yelling, and saying, saying that we have to go to the capital. And I'm just going to say, um... Um, which is also stronger than, um, Diane and stuff like that. And he's faster, so what he does, he uses black hands and he blasts off with full speed. And 
excited way he throws them with ant magic anti-magic covering them where they can sneak and they no not anti-magic and people feel huge magical power coming from this one area even more this time because um Asta's there and he's like five five hundred thousand I said that his strongest and yeah but right now his base form's like fifty thousand I'm just gonna say that so that's like that's like commandment power most of the commandments power he'll be mid commandment whenever that in that form and now people are freaking out and they feel another huge power from the other side this is whenever it launches down and I was just this is when goats Gother says take over redirect light doing the whole thing where it makes like they feel like they're relatives and stuff and they start walking off and this is whenever King says Osco with a black black hound appearing that's what they're called and saying this is a black hound and it can teleport us anywhere that it eats Diane goes in first and the whole thing where they showed up happens again and all that but she still gets bodied and they're in the middle of the area where you see her limping and making it look like she's doing destroying stuff. And that's whenever the king's friend appears. And because I'm gonna say he wasn't, he didn't have the interaction with them because Asta interrupted it before it happened. The whole reveal happens, and he uses that mirror, that ability to defend and all that, and he defeats him at full power. And of course, they save everybody, and now it's a Henderson fight. But, what well, I'm gonna say, he still fights Malio, just when his best gets taken. And Bond still gets the offer from the horns, but this time, he, they also say also, saying he was just as strong as Malio this 3,000 years ago. And that's whenever they... Bond's like, what? Because I'm going to say he was just like Maliotis, pretty much, where he could, almost all the goddesses feared him, and stuff like that. And he hears this, and this, the different conversations is, um, so you're a demon, and you live for 3,000 years. And he says, not even demons should live that long, he says, or at least we know that. And that's where he says... Um, I'm cursed to live this long. Whenever Mon hears this, he's like, So you're in more getting sliced in half from Maliotis and his game norm, saying we have no time for this, we have to go. And this is River Hinterston walks out in his gray form. Everybody's afraid, and I'm gonna say Oss is not there because he was in the background the whole time. Well, his magic seems so strong compared to everybody else. This is whenever you see Asta walk out, saying that you think your pathetic form for a demon is worth anything. You just copied the second weakest demon in all the demon clan. And people are hearing this like the second strongest. You're telling me there's even more strong demons inside that seal. And that's whenever you see Asta walk out. Says, I'll show you a true high demon. Activate his assault mode. Skyracking his power to godly levels compared to everybody else. Saying, I'll show you a true demon. And he says, Dark Nebula or Dark Light Dividing Slash. With Henderson instantly blowing up and stuff. And people are thinking, how is he not the captain of the... So the deadly sins and that conversation acts up. That's whenever Mount Yoda says that um, whenever the attack happened, I was knocked out and somehow my power was taken away. And that's whenever Merlin says that was me. And they ask why Merlin did that, and he says that if I still would have let him have the power, the whole kingdom would have got destroyed to shreds and stuff. And if you guys want. Me, um, you guys need to tell me what the girl's name's gonna be. 
I'm, I'm gonna try to think of one. You know what, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna call her Noel. And that's whenever they spark up also and where's Noel. And I'm just gonna say that she had her magic or her reincarnate was the re also the vessel for th the blessing of Torm, like water, you know that thing, the tsunami one, instead of that other dude. And I'm gonna say her original magic was, so it was water, and her original magic is, is I'm gonna say, what should it be? Um, I'm just gonna say, um, demon, demon magic, I don't know, something like beast magic or something like that. But all reincarnates have different types of magic. I'm just gonna say that. And yeah. So yeah. And that's when they say that. And yeah. It's the next season. These were like three filler episodes, but I'm not gonna add them in with the festival and all that. But yeah. They wake up one day, drunk, and all that, and this is whenever, um, the whole bond thing leaving happened, um, I'm just gonna cover up this real quick, I'll do the rest of the stuff later, bond leaves, Mariotis is, is leaving for adventure, and Elizabeth is waiting to go, and Asta is leaving to find Noelle, which that part will be a completely original part of Several Deadly Sins, and I'm only going to post one episode of this, so sorry, goodbye.